So today we are doing something quite exciting. I am excited to try it. Something that I've been looking forward to doing for a while now. So I thought we would go ahead and tackle it today, but today we are going to be doing the $5,000 versus $50,000 build challenge, which is super exciting. I'm excited to see what this looks like, so I hope you guys are too, and let's go ahead and jump on in to it. So this is the house that I chose. Of course, I duplicated it. So we had one for the 5k, one for the 50k. It took me a minute to like get it to look identical, but we did our best. <laughs> um, this is the house that I got off the gallery. I got this from this person is Thrid. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is where I got the house from. It's super cute. Um, it's called Innocent Starter Cottage. We're going to be using this to kind of use as our base but we do have this cute little starter home that we can use and i wrote 5k over here and i wrote 50k over here so we kind of had an idea of what we're doing so i'm gonna start over on the 5k side of the lot the layout is going to be the kitchen like a little dining space and then the living room back here and then this is the bedroom this is the bathroom Oh, let me set my budget. I, I guess I need to move a sim in to set my budget. Give me just one moment. All right, so I finally got it all set up here. And now we are going to change this down to 5,000. I'm scared of this house. Truly, I don't know how I'm going to be able to fit 5,000 in this little house. But we're going to try our best. Uh, we need to start out with lights and wallpaper. I'll probably keep it cheap for both of these just so we can maximize how much we have in other areas. So let's do a basic wallpaper, basic standard. We can do like this one in these two rooms, maybe like a, a green in the bedroom, keep it fancy. I do really like this tile, so I think I can use that. It's two simoleons, one of the cheapest ones, so I think that's totally fine what's like the cheapest wood floor i can do that's cute let's do this one and i i really like this wood flooring also tile looking good so far <laughs> we got all of those we are already used 500 dollars of our budget though on just wallpaper and flooring let's get some super saucer lights in here just because they're cheap and they're small so let's see what we can do with the kitchen after we get past all the debug items, what is the best fridge we can go for? What if we went for this teal color to kind of match the bedroom? Oh, that's a vibe, actually. We could do, like, one of these little moments. I don't want to do too many counters. I feel like if I do too many, we'll run out of money. So I'm just going to delete this one here. So if we do a little curve, we can do a little yum cooker. And doesn't it have a color to match? Oh, yeah. And then we'll put... This is our cheapest option. I hate using that sink. That sink is not a kitchen sink. That is a bathroom sink. I think in the 50k one, I'm going to add top cabinets because it just makes it look all cute and stuff. This is a totally stable dining chair. These are cute, actually. Oh, oh they come in a little teal. Ooh, wait. Actually, this is such a cute little kitchen. We do only have 2,700 simoleons left though, so let's try to get the necessities really quick so I make sure that I at least have those. This is like my favorite bed in the game as well, and it's only 300 simoleons, so you know we about to grab this one. And then we need a toilet. What's the cheapest toilet? This one. A bathtub. Bathtubs, I heard, are really cheap, like cheaper than a shower, so we're going to go with that. We can just do the classic... Hopefully we can start fitting some other stuff in here. So this bathroom's looking pretty bare. We can do like a rug here in the center. I'm going to just start with the living room. We're going to start with the living room. Try and get as much as we can done in here. In the original, there was a fireplace here. I don't really know if that fits in my opinion. I could try and put a fireplace here though. I, I don't know how expensive fireplaces are. Okay. Uh, that's like our whole budget. Well, this is 450 and that's super cute in this corner. No TV. I don't think they need one. Base game. 90 simoleons. Right there. In the center of it all. 
and nine less than a thousand simoleons left oh my gosh we'll do this one this is like my least favorite one in the game but it'll do for now does this come in a color a different color <gasps> yes the teal what about a dresser i guess i could use no i don't really like that dresser that matches man they really like this orange swatch i can't stand it what about a plant on top the cheapest is 20 but i'm gonna use this one that's 25 we still have four 14 left i want to try and put a rug a few rugs in a few rugs could really bring this place up in in quality you know so what about this one in here just set that right in between like this green swatch is really nice but then it makes me want to change the color of the couch to something a little bit more neutral so i don't have to have the clashing tones this whole house is so bare compared to what i normally do it's driving me insane right now i literally am losing my mind because i just want to add a ton of cute things in here there's this rug but isn't this like the ugliest rug this is off center and it bothers me i think i'm gonna put it against this window actually it makes more sense and it makes the room feel a little bit more full actually so now what if i tried to put a big old rug in the middle yeah 244 to go let's get some soap and some toilet paper in here this is actually like going pretty well i was so scared that this was gonna be so much worse than this on this side but I think I chose a good size house for 5k. A toothbrush, a little bath towel. I have lost access to quite a few things. Well, I could do the fuzzy rug. It's 15. Put it in front of the bathtub. Yeah, and then that's like a full bathroom. There's no art on the walls at all. I kind of sacrificed paintings for the rest of the decor, so... I would love to put a little mat in front of the sink. And we have four simoleons. Is there a plant? <laughs> I guess I could go for this as my plant. It's uh, one simoleon. So we could add a couple of these throughout the house and it would kind of liven it up a little bit. Boom. We got another one there. Increase the size of it here. <laughs> I don't know. This works for me. Boom. That's the entire 5k. I literally use every single penny. I tried so hard and we'll get, we'll give tours by the end, at the end. Like I'll do a little tab tour, but this is like the kitchen and dining. Very cutesy and teal. Then we have the hallway and then you come into the living room. Very bare, but there's a bookcase so you can do some light reading if you'd like. If you go back out to the hallway and into this door, you have our little bedroom and then there is a bathroom as well. The bathroom is like the most put together room in this entire house, probably because bathrooms are so easy to just get right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the 50k budget. With how easy this was, I'm kind of scared of this one. All right. So let me go ahead and change my money to 50K. We'll start in the same area. We gotta add wallpaper and flooring first though. I'm going to forget that if I am not careful. I guess we can start with this. I really like this deep brown. And for bathroom tile, this one's not too shabby. Let me just map out where the kitchen goes and then we can add some backsplash and all of that jazz we're gonna be using these because they're expensive but they're literally the cutest ones in the game <laughs> and then for countertops we could for go for a little bit more of a witchy a witchy vibe than we did with the other one but i think i'm just kind of kind of why don't we start out let's go for these i do like these they're classic didn't do wallpaper didn't do lighting so we got to work on that as well also these have a little back edge piece so i think i might switch these out let me at least get some temporary lighting in here because i probably at least for this one will change out the lights because we have the money right so the bathroom that one is just my favorite maybe we'll go for this one because this is actually kind of cute yeah so i like this a lot i guess this one's pretty nice this plain but pretty one 
I use this one quite a bit. We can do like a gray. Plain old white in the bedroom. I feel like this house is going to be a little bit more boring. Because I feel like teal is like what they would consider as a cheap color in this game for some reason. We can definitely pop, add pops of color in when it comes to the appliances though. There's like this orangey vibe in here. Maybe we do an orange. I've never used this swatch before. It's kind of a vibe. That matches. Man, they really like this orange swatch. I can't stand it. Yeah, so we can do orange appliances, maybe orange orange seats, like orange cushions or something. Kind of adding it back a little bit of that color. We can also add it back in with rugs and photos. So we'll get it all back in there. We'll get we'll get some color in there. We'll get it popping. It's just it'll it's gonna take a minute. <gasps> These are like literally perfect for what I'm doing. It's kind of really cute, actually. So cabinets. We have a matching one to this. It's this one. Mm, I'm going to do one of those edge things. Oh, but I got to add the vent hood over here. I'm going to add the fire prevention system utility panel. So we must have that in here, especially since it's a little bit more on the expensive side, $750, and we have the budget for it. Also a thermostat because we have the budget for it. <laughs> Maybe we do, I have been really into these lifted tables. There's not that many in this game, which is kind of sad, but like this swatch. Yeah, okay. And then we can add little bar stools to it, which is cute. Are there any that match this little setup? Do you guys know? Wait, of course there is. There's these. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look at that. And we can add a little third seat even though we don't really need it. Yeah, it's just for guests, you know? We'll always have a guest over. And a cute little plant on top. We could do a hanging plant. I do see I have a few. They're debug ones, but they can still work. We can do like a little plant over the table to kind of make it homey a little bit. What about over here? We need an umbrella rack. We need a coat rack. My normal must-haves. Those look really nice there. Is there room for like a photo in here? No, there's not. But there is room for clutter. Because I didn't get to clutter at the last kitchen. And I really want to. I'm already at 39k though. So maybe I should go go to the other rooms first and then come back for clutter. I don't know what to put in this part. Maybe like a little side table here. And we'll just put a table here and maybe I'll throw a plant on it. It says it's not gonna go on the table, but it is because we're gonna just push it up here. There we go. And what about colors? Is there, no. Is there like a, an orange? <gasps> Ooh, obsessed. I can't stand it. We got a little runner. I do like this first swatch a lot. It's already looking so good. I love it so much. This is the living room. Maybe we could do a full-fledged book nook. I know we did like just a bookshelf in this one. These ones from Cottage Living are literally the best in the game. Oh, I love that. And this one I think you could put a TV on top of. Yeah, this plant is not the cutest, but it gets the job done. Boom. Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. Where's my couch? This one. We got it. I think I need to bring it back just a little bit more because I'm going to stick a coffee table in between. Should I do a full size one? Since the couch is a little bit longer, I feel like it makes more sense to have a longer coffee table. We gotta go for this vibe. Wait, this purple looking one is good. The colors balance really well. The rug that I used in the 5k kind of just fits perfectly in between there. Like, look at that. That's so nice. Where is... I could use this brown one. No, because then I start getting in the territory where everything starts looking the same. Let's use a green. Oh, curtains! Curtains, we need curtains. Oh my gosh. Were the walls in this house originally short? That makes more sense. Now I don't feel weird for using the short ones. So let's just throw those like this on every window. 
And I'm going to put a little pole in between them so it's like it covers all three of the windows. Yes! I love curtains! Oh my gosh. What color? Is this a good color? Maybe we should go for something more like this. <gasps> Wait, that's actually perfect. Because of the oranges. I gotta change this plant. Yeah. This house has also taken a lot longer than the other one has so far. Because it's taken about the same time right now as it did for me to finish this entire house. And I only have two rooms or one and a half rooms done. <laughs> so if that tells you how much the different in budget can also affect the time that it takes you to do a build, I don't know what more. I love this chair and it's orange so we're gonna be keeping it and we could put like a little bookshelf over here next to it make it all cutesy it's like not the cutest one but it's it's just the one that i i feel like would fit the space the most like this one <gasps> obsessed and can we add another stack of books to this i can't add another stack of books to it i'm going to anyway i thought that you would be able to just naturally be able to got that added on there oh this is cozy i've been getting back into reading a lot these last couple of days so just having a cozy space like this would be so nice to be able to read my book you know and i think that's that living room done we have thirty thousand simoleons left still it's like genuinely insane how much money we have so this room it's gonna be a little bit more expensive because I'm gonna throw a computer in here. That's cute. I do like these a lot. So I think I'm gonna use these if there's a color that doesn't have all that action going on on it. Those are really nice. Oh, stunning. And a desk. We need a desk. I'm imagining like the perfect little setup over here. I am gonna put a full length mirror over here. This one from the jungle adventures lord that's a massive pc but i kind of want it because it has the camera and <laughs> the microphone on it kind of like a streamer's little pc there i want this dish rack in the kitchen i gotta make sure to put it in there now so i don't forget Ooh, and i could put this please Look at that, it's literally perfect sitting right there in front of our little mirror. Then this is where we can check our little outfits. Even though we don't have a dresser, I could put one right here. It's so crazy that I've only used half the budget. Like I still am trying to get stuff to fill it up. Maybe I just do one bedside table. I'm not like the biggest fan of this wardrobe. Ooh, this one's kind of cute. I'll put this one over here in the corner. And we'll change the color to like this to match the aesthetic of the room. A pink gaming chair. Got a little calendar. There's a few posters back there. Yes, look at this room. So cute. I'm gonna go ahead and just come back in here. Do a little edit of the stuff on this table. To try and add in some more clutter. Yes. Yes, everything. It is everything. I think this room is good. I don't think I want to add anything else to it. I think it'll just ruin the vibes and this room's good. Now I'm back in here. I don't have a sink. Oh no, 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 no. I can't believe I didn't put a sink in here. There we go. Oh, I love it. Those are good. I cut out a little light underneath here. Kind of fill in the space. These from high school years that can help and then just warm tone this little menu i think is super cute we could put that here i could put this because it needs to have a spot and i'm going to do a different color maybe like this green to match the plates yes yes there we go i think the last room we have now is the bathroom I'm just changing the color on this tissue box just to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. We got these here from Spa Day. This one goes with this bathroom so much and I love this faucet. I was thinking we could do like a, a two sink situation. So like a his and hers type of situation. 
and a curtain like this this is kind of cute and two mirrors please these ones are super cute oh i could put like a big old rug in front of this this is like something i can use as three pieces is there like a good swatch that matches this white one's okay what if i do this one is that a lot i kind of like it <laughs> i think i'm gonna go for it i still have 19,000 simoleons left and my house is almost done I'm starting to panic a little bit actually here we go so adding some fancy towels in in green to throw in some more green here in the big makeup kit so we want the small one in the bedroom and the big one in the bathroom the shoes that we constantly forget in the bathroom Ooh, and a little towel we can do one that's like the matching colors as the ones that we have hanging over there this is what i always put above this oh my gosh it's too much money let's try and just add as much as we can but outdoor items we can do a grill this one is like the whole outdoor shebang so i think i'm gonna do that one what about a little table there we go maybe is there like a plant we can set on top of this? What's the most expensive little plant? This? Ugly. Oh my gosh. Here. We'll put this one. What about over here? Here. Give me a little planter box. That's gonna water my plants for me. What if I put this? I'm gonna put this over here. So I can add two to this little garden. Okay. A wishing well. A wishing well? I can shove in the back, like right here. We can fit that over here. That's seven. I don't even know what to do in this instance. It's so challenging. We could do a little birdhouse. I like that. Oh, this one's more expensive. Yes, and I like this one a lot more. This birdhouse. Oh, a trash can. I could add a trash can in. I think they're free, but you know... They're not free, actually. What's the most expensive trash can you have? A dumpster? I'm gonna throw a dumpster outside the hedge. And a durable plastic trash bin as well. What do I even put out here? I don't understand. What's the most expensive, like... Oh, I guess we could put a porch light. Who needs a porch light this big? <laughs> I'm just gonna shrink it down, honestly. I'm just kidding. I'm so defeated. <laughs> this light can go a few different places. This one looks insane. It's so lit up though compared to the other one. Ooh! Lights! We could add actual lights instead of just saucer lights. I almost forgot that I could do this. I want this in there. Yes. It's beautiful. I'm gonna add one in here too. I'll get rid of the saucer light in there. And the bathroom can just stay the same. But now we're down to 1880, which is so much better than we were. Let's paint the ceilings. It's like a very expensive white wood. We still have 972 left. I'm trying so hard. I do like that though. That's cute. What else? What else? What else? What's the most expensive photo I can buy? Or like item I can hang on the wall? sure where can i fit this there now we have 22 simoleons this is 20. we'll shove that on the table i kind of like the orange one then we add in a few more plants like these i don't even know where at this point oh my gosh i feel like this is so pointless at this point put one there and one there that's 50k <laughs> That was, like, the worst experience ever. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. But there you guys go. Let me give you guys a little tour. We'll start over here at the 5K house. So at the 5K house, you know, it's very much bare minimum. No fun activities on the porch or anything in the garden. It's just bare minimum. And that's okay. These people are comfortable with that. We have this cute, lovely kitchen with this cute little dining table here. 
walk down this hallway you get to the living room no tv because they don't really believe in tv but we have a little bookcase so they can read lovely books then we have the bedroom which we have a little dresser in this corner and a little bathroom with a massive plant in it because i didn't have anything else and that's the 5k house then we come over to the 50k house which is over here she's got a lot of stuff going on in the yard she wants to make sure you know that this house is very welcoming very homey so we're just gonna walk up to the front door we got a little porch light in this one so that's really nice this is the lovely kitchen this light is everything i'm obsessed but this is our lovely kitchen very bright very welcoming and warm we have our entryway which has the umbrella and the coat rack and the shoe rack everything that you need you come down here with some family photos another light and this little table that you can set your keys on we also have this sprinkler system so we don't catch on fire we ha come into our very, very cozy living room with a little book nook in the corner and a TV on the fireplace. Just very warm and welcoming and cozy. Baseball bats for protection. <laughs> this is our bedroom. We have a mirror here so we can check our outfits next to our wardrobe and a calendar to check our events. And then in this corner, we have our gaming setup, which is also our makeup setup so we can do our makeup in the morning. Um, either in here or in the bathroom, which I'll show you. Do our outfit in here. Maybe stream a little bit. You know, normal stuff. And then this is our bathroom. His and hers sinks. Lots of clutter because a girl has some stuff she needs to get done. A beautiful shower and a toilet. And that is the 50k build. Wow. Okay, so lots and lots <laughs> happening with this but this was super fun oh my gosh i it literally took me like five times longer to do the 50k house than it did the 5k house but that's probably because of the fact that there was just a lot more stuff that i needed to put in the 50k and then at the end like there literally just wasn't anything else for me to do so it was kind of just a whole mess but i had a lot of fun doing this i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out the channel. We are trying to hit 12K by the end of this year. So if you're interested in this type of content um, and interested in joining us on our journey, make sure to tap that button and also turn on the push notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye.